This is the first of what may become a series of talks on praying the Psalms, how the Church, especially the Eastern Church, understands the Psalms, and why our whole liturgy is saturated with the Psalms. I will discuss the first two verses of Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the path with sinners, nor abides in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. The Psalms are the Old Testament hymn book and prayer book, and we can certainly interpret these verses to say, The Jew who studies the Torah and has nothing to do with evil is very blessed. This surface interpretation is perfectly legitimate, and we can extend it easily to the Christian who strives to do God's will. Let us go deeper and ask who this man is. Notice it does not say a man, nor does it say any man, and it certainly is not plural, but singular. Let us focus on the word man. In English it has two meanings, a human being and also an adult male. So what you see in many modern translations is, blessed is the one who, or blessed are those who. But the word in Hebrew means literally an adult male human being. All the liturgical languages, Greek, Latin, Slavonic, use words that designate one adult male. This is more than just a patriarchal custom we can dispense with. It goes to the heart of the Christian faith. In Matthew's Gospel, we find two accounts of the feeding of the multitude. Matthew counts the men, adult males, and mentions that there are also women and children. The men here are clearly adult male heads of households, and Matthew is counting families. So who is the adult male head of household that we are talking about in the psalm when we say, Blessed is the man? It is not Adam. Adam followed the counsel of the wicked and brought disaster on the entire human household. It is not really Abraham either, who is not the father of Gentile nations, nor was he entirely sinless. God does say to Abraham that in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And here God was foretelling the one St. Paul calls the new Adam, Jesus Christ. Paul writes, In him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. We, the church, are the household that Christ heads. St. Irenaeus says, He recapitulated in himself the long line of human beings and furnished us with salvation, so that what we had lost in Adam, namely to be according to the image and likeness of God, that we might recover in Christ Jesus. The word here, recapitulate, means literally to gather together under a new head. So Jesus Christ is the man who is blessed, and we as members of the body of Christ can recover the image and likeness of God that was lost by participating in the blessedness that Christ won for us through his perfect obedience to the will of the Father. God became man, St. Athanasius says, so that man could become God. This process we Eastern Christians call theosis. Let us become one with him, so that verse 1 of Psalm 1, Blessed is the man, applies to each of us as well. 